Hi, BrainTech here, where tech is made simple. So just a quick heads up, if you are using Microsoft Edge, about two privacy issues, uh, just to bring these to your attention in case you are privacy um, focused and concerned um, and are using Edge. Now, as I posted last year in October, Microsoft rolled out a new auto import feature that imports a browsing data at each browser launch from Google Chrome. So if we head to our profile, import browser data, here we go. So here's the settings, as I mentioned in that video, which will be down below. And basically it imports browsing data at each browser launch from Chrome automatically. And if you want to prevent this from happening, I showed you how to do that and go check that video out for more info. Now, just to let you know that once again, this problem seems to be rearing its head, so to speak, once again. And at this stage, the exact cause of this issue still remains unclear. But nonetheless, um, there are reports that um, the browser for Windows 10 and Windows 11 users is now automatically importing browsing data once again from Chrome after installing uh, the recent Windows updates that have rolled out. And even though the data import um, for this feature was turned off, so... As an example, if you head to Edit Preferences, as you can see, it's turned off in my case. If you that was turned off, like you can see in my case, it was still importing that browsing data where apparently um, Microsoft Edge automatically opened with Chrome tabs. So after the update, uh, the system gets restarted, and then when you launch Edge, the browser opens up with Chrome tabs after installing. Uh, the Windows update is mentioned and as you may know this data import feature includes bookmarks, cookies, history and other data from other browsers and uh, um, even though this was disabled like it is in my case as mentioned that was still happening so that's once again according to some reports still happening and obviously no word in regards to that from Microsoft so that's the first privacy issue. And then the next privacy issue is actually a feature I posted on earlier today, which is called Group Similar Tabs, which is a new AI feature that is available uh, in Microsoft Edge for Desktop. So as you can see, Group Similar Tabs, and there we go. It uses AI to gather information about your tabs, and then it groups those tabs automatically using artificial intelligence now. I've actually posted a whole video on how to use Copilot AI to organize your tabs in Microsoft Edge. I posted that about two months ago, and I'll also leave that down below if you want a more in-depth guide as to how to go about that. Now, regarding the privacy issue with um, this group similar tabs, um, it seems now like that um, Edge is sending information about all open websites to the Microsoft service when this option is used and selected. And then the AI processes the request um, then on the server and then obviously returns its suggestions back to your um, browser to group your tabs using AI. Now, this takes place if your internet connection is connected. So I have Wi-Fi enabled. Now, I just want to show you that um, if I turn off my internet connection or turn off my Wi-Fi, let me just toggle that off and let me just turn that off. There we go. So my Wi-Fi now is turned off. So if I head back to group similar tabs and I click on that, you can see we are, are unable to group your tabs. So this needs an internet connection. So um, when um, your internet connection is off, it can't contact the Microsoft servers. So basically the processing happens on Microsoft servers and not locally. So that's the heads up I'm just trying to give you that um, this needs the Microsoft service. So there's a bit of phone in home telemetry going backwards and forwards with this feature. So if you are um, concerned about your, your privacy, as an example, if you are privacy conscious, you may want to just avoid this feature and maybe just um, create tabs manually instead um, on your device, which is quite simple to do. You just head there, um, add to new tab group. There we go, group one, you give it a color. And I've created my tab group manually. But this is very convenient and efficient if you have a lot of tab groups open and you just want to get the job done using AI. But as mentioned, if that internet connection is turned off, it can't then phone home, so to speak, and get the information it needs back to um, group those tabs using AI. So 
bit of a privacy concern there. But nonetheless, um, if you are privacy conscious, you can just create that tab group manually. So that's just two little heads up I wanted to give you, so to speak, regarding two possible privacy issues uh, in Microsoft Edge. As mentioned, if you do find yourself being concerned about privacy um, when using Windows and your different browsers. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.